Hello everyone, this is Kathy Jo from I'm a Little Teapot, and I'm here today to share an album that I created using Graphic 45's Nature Sketchbook Collection. I also use Graphic 45's Craft Mini Tag album. So the front of the album has my favorite pattern paper from the collection. It's the black background with all the beautiful flowers on it. I applied a, uh, a gold doily. And on top of that, one of my favorite cards from the collection, The World is But a Canvas to Our Imagination. I also fussy cut a lot of butterflies and adhered them on to the front. On the side of the album, it's Nature's Sketchbook Detail. This is on sheet one of the paper pad. And I fussy cut two wee butterflies for the front. Oops. And then also I have this band here with butterflies, and I fussy cut another one of the butterflies right there. It's just a sweet little detail. And the back is more of the pretty pattern paper. And if you notice too, there's gold along the edges of the papers, and sometimes you'll see it throughout the album on other items from the collection. That's just a gold marker, and I, I just think it adds a nice little detail. So as you can see, this album is a little bit thicker than probably what it was intended to be, but it's just chock full of just beautiful details and layers, and I was really happy creating it, and I love the way it turned out. So when I bought the collection, I bought the 12x12, 12 12, the 8x8, and the solids and patterns paper. I also bought the chipboard, the uh, tags and pockets, the flower cutouts, and also the stickers. So this album incorporates all of those details, and I'm very happy that I bought all of those extras just because it really added a lot to this album. So as you can see here, I have more fussy cut butterflies. That's the chipboard. Now inside the album, besides the the nature's uh, sketchbook papers. I also used a black doily on a lot of the pages because I felt like it just really had all the paper and the images and the details just pop. I really like the way it turned out. Another butterfly and a cute little key. So there was a pattern to the pockets when I created this album. When the pocket was on the right side, I put pattern paper on the left, and I also put a little piece of ivory uh, cut out there with gold along the edges. So this way, I would be able to add a photo or a journaling to this. All the pockets have an ephemera card on the front, and then black and white, or black and ivory on the back. So that's for the layouts that have the pocket on the right side. Pockets on the left side, what I did was I usually put an ephemera card and I created little inserts to go in with it. And the inserts is just some of the scrap paper that I had and then ivory. So the scrap paper from the collection that is. Another fussy cut butterfly, and there's one of the stickers. Little chipboard pieces. Those are the corners from the stickers. Two fussy cut butterflies. And I added two buttons to this uh, detail here on this page. I put them on foam. And then those little rounds there are also from the collection. Just add the cute little detail to the buttons. So for this area, I took um, four craft cards, I think it was, three craft cards, and I applied double-sided adhesive on the flap, and I mounted it to the bottom of the card before it. So it's a little waterfall envelope detail here. Card with, the, uh, with two of the pages from the collection. 
that's in each of the envelopes. And then I put more of the stickers there. The stickers were perfect in this area because it could lay flat and didn't make such a, a bulky, bulky little detail in my album. Oops. So since my album was so thick, I decided not to add the, um, oops, I decided not to add the, anything into the pockets yet. I think what I'll do is while I'm collecting the, either the little pieces of memory or um, photos or whatever that I want to put in this album, I'll just kind of tuck them in the pocket until I'm ready to complete the album. So when I had two flats facing each other, I just used matching or uh, coordinating uh, papers from the collection, outlined them in gold, and just left them as is. So that this way I could, you know, later on I can add the photo to it or, or journaling or some other detail that I want to put in. Here are the bumblebees. They're so sweet. There's a chipboard with a bumblebee on it. Now those little bees I, I fussy cut out and I mounted them on to the entomology uh, piece there, another piece of chipboard. So there's a tab from the sticker collection and what I did was I put gold around that. Chipboard with some gold. So that's another sticker and to make that stand out I just took a, a black uh, a marker and it just went around it. Here's the tag from the pocket and tags collection. Love that one. Camera card. Just another little item that I tucked in there. So those corners are from the sticker collection. And there's the chipboard. I was lucky I found some coordinating ribbon that uh, and lace that went along with the collection. And the blue really pops in it. Another piece of the ribbon. So here's one of the chipboard tags. Aren't the colors in this collection great? I love how the reds and the, and the blues and the greens they just pop in this. The sticker on top of the ephemera card. The joy is also from the sticker set and the flowers here are from the flower pop-outs and what I did was I just kind of layered them and and I had some texture to them to make them uh, uh, like 3D. And then I just add some stickles to the center. So with this one I didn't go with the buttons again because I found that my album was getting a little bulky. So for this uh, waterfall, I guess the envelope waterfall, what I did was I, I just have it so that it ties in the front. Again I use some of the stickers. It's one of the flowers from the punch out set. And inside each one is a sweet little detail. So I like this tag and I wanted to put it somewhere where it would definitely pop and I do like it there but I wanted to make sure that I wouldn't um, I wouldn't interfere with any photo or journaling, so I just added adhesive to the top so this way it can just slide under. Another sticker, ephemera card on a tag. This 
where the puzzle flies. So I found some wee envelopes that I thought looked great with the album. And so uh, I just had to add them. Now with Graphic 45 papers, I, I keep everything because you never know, even the smallest piece from Graphic 45 can add just wonderful detail in it. And it does right there. I originally had these as plain black and I just had the, the uh, butterfly on the flap. But then I went through my little pieces of scrap and it, they worked out perfect there. The butterfly. So for, for those people that follow me on Instagram, it's uh, at Kathy Jo Crafts. A few weeks ago I, I took a picture of my work desk because I had a whole bunch of butterflies cut out. They were all over my desk and I really had a fun time cutting them out because it was, was kind of cold and not so nice outside, but inside it looked like it was summer on my desk. Like, how can you not be happy cutting out butterflies? So pretty. Definitely make me yearn for summer here. More of the sweet bees. And so this is another one of the, the pockets and tags. And then the last page. I think this is like a butterfly. Another piece of chipboard. Isn't it great how you can just have one piece of graphic 45 in the center of a doily with just one little embellishment? And it just adds something to whatever you're working on. Such great details and colors in your collections. So there you go. The Nature Sketchbook mini album. I do hope you like it. I, I really enjoyed making it. And, and um, if you ever have time to just sit in front of the TV or just want to do something in your craft room, Cutting up butterflies from Graphic 45, it's it's a real treat. It really adds something to any project that you're working on, too. So, thank you for stopping by. I, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a happy, crafty day. Bye.